Before the light of the gods entered the world, there was only darkness ruled by titans. After an epic war, Zeus seized the heavens and exiled the titans, seeking to imprison them for all eternity. The lands were cleansed and mortals flourished. But arrogance precedes many a fall. And even a god's prison may be breached. Welcome to Titan Quest and the Immortal Throne expansion. Game I bought probably back in 2009 for the computer, PC. I'm playing on Windows 7. This is not the Steam version. I might get the Steam version later. And the reason for getting the Steam version is that then you get additional expansion packs released a few years later and a lot of cool mods for them, including mods that allow you to play uh, a lot of cool uh, different models etc. They don't work on this version. I tried it. For example a mod that is named uh, Fallen Gods or something there where you can play as uh, uh, like the gods of different uh, factions uh, like Egypt or uh, Greece or the Norse etc. Like in Age of Mythology essentially you play the gods instead of heroes with unique abilities and such but I tried that on this version and while some heroes work like uh, Isis I don't believe all the skills worked and for others you didn't even get the proper model like for example Athena which had a really gorgeous model uh, she looked bugged when you tried to play her while Isis looked fine which is the Egyptian god of I don't remember exactly what role she had, but she, she's a hot uh, Egyptian god that looks like Cleopatra, essentially. Okay. Fuck, I uh, clicked somewhere. Okay, let's reduce the music a little bit. I don't need to scream. Alright, so there are mods for this game, including a Diablo 2 mod that I had installed in the past, but we don't want to play that even either. We want to play uh, custom, uh, the single player normal game, but custom. So I have play tested previously some characters. I have a character named Callisto based on the Xena Warrior Princess character named Callisto. <coughs> I have a mod active that changes the character because when you bought this game, yeah, the original game Titan Quest released in 2006 or 5 uh, it had like a male uh, Greek character on the cover and then the expansion pack Immortal Throne had a blonde uh, sexy warrior on the cover then when you start the game you still could only use a 
brown haired male or brown haired girl or if it was black haired but anyway she wasn't blown in the game despite being blown to the cover and that well <laughs> it felt like I'd been tricked but anyway uh, there is a mod that changes the hair to blonde so of course I'm using it I partially partially bought the game because of the blonde girl on the cover. I was very disappointed when she wasn't blonde in the game. Um, but I also bought it because this game is like Diablo 2, one of my favorite games uh, of all time on the computer. So I like the game play in this game. But yeah, I bought the expansion mostly because of the blonde girl on the cover because I thought it was an improvement over playing as a guy. But but then when I started the game, they only had brown or black hair. Uh, so the mod allows us to play as the blonde character from the cover. And I named her Callisto because Callisto was a blonde um, female antagonist of Xena in Xena Warrior Princess, which takes place in ancient Greece and Rome, etc. Ancient China, ancient North as well, I believe. Anyway, we will create a new character. But I'm sitting a bit away from the TV screen, so I can hardly see the text here. Okay, uh, import, create, you want to create a character. The question is what we should name her.
uh, the Callisto character that I used to have had the, the right looks, I believe, almost. Besides that uh, issue with the hair being different on the cheeks, like she had blonde hair, but then she had brown hair on the cheeks, which looked bad. I, I used an editor to level her up and give her all the cool uh, attacks and such of Callisto. Anyway, maybe we shouldn't use that. Uh, the Tina character. Mm, I should probably delete it, delete her as well. Then we create a new one. We'll go for a bit Callisto. Alright, um, female of course, and uh, create. It's either black or white, so we go for white. And then we'll start the game. But we might do the custom menu. Let's see. Play a game. Normal difficulty. There's there's also the epic difficulty and legendary. We'll go for normal. All right. So we'll go for normal difficulty and uh, start the game. One day, the sun will dim and spread a shadow over the earth. Temples which have stood forever destroyed. The heavens will vanish and the gods will fall upon the earth. One day the weak will have power over the strong. The poets will stop singing and instead take up the sword. It is in these darkest times that the strongest of heroes are born. That reminded me of Diablo 2 and the uh, intro cinematics. They had a similar uh, like prophet prophecy, but very, very much more. It was darker. Okay, so we're in the game. You can control the game like this. This is the intended play style. You play like in Diablo. You can zoom in too. Then it looks like this. Oh, I forgot. I do have a mod that allows us uh, to start the game through a different text file, which will then allow us to use a cam uh, hack, which enabled us to zoom in more than this, so we could zoom in and see the character up front and play with like real person view. And change the camera angle too. We can't do that now because I started it through the CD instead of through that specific .exe file that has been hacked or modded. So this is the max zoom if you do not use that mod. And I was gonna play with that mod but it's more fun to play like this in a game like Diablo. And then zoom in every once in a while and check out the gear like this. The Kamek mod of course me and uh, check out the character even more but uh, it's more difficult to play if you are zoomed in but it makes the world look bigger you can play a bit like the intended gameplay view right now I speak to this 
guy. You there, soldier! If you've come looking for rest and peace, you won't find it here in Helos. Our village has recently been beset by satyrs and other vile beasts. The help of your fighting arm would be greatly appreciated. Our farmers cannot get to their fields and our supplies are running low. Please, go down the road toward the village and help where you can. Right, so we got a uh, quest. Right. You must have been sent by the gods. Please, in the field here, they're going to kill my horse. Right, we will interfere. This is how the game is intended to be played, like in a Diablo game. Unlike in Diablo 2, there are not as many enemies to face. There are fewer in numbers here, and everything is in 3D. It looks more like Diablo 3, but it's set in Greece, and ancient, ancient Greece, ancient Egypt, etc. And with fancy elements, we will fight monsters like Medusas and Satyrs, etc. Sweetie you side. saved my horse! Thank you! But I'm not the only one in trouble. Down the road there, that's my village, Kilos. We've got monsters at the gates, in the fields, they're everywhere! Graphics are pretty good for 2006, I believe. And I like the realistic graphics of this game over towards lights and colorful graphics. I like that too, but I think this is better. And Diablo 2. It's gothic stylist, what I prefer the most. But I didn't really like Diablo 3, simply because Diablo 3 looked more like World of Warcraft than Diablo 2. And I wanted to look like Diablo 2, so. But anyway, let's continue here. We can play the same part again. The camera mode is just the difference. This game is very much like Diablo and Torchlight. Hello, I am Aeson, guard captain for this small village. We are holding up, but what's the use? If the monsters lay waste to our farms, we're lost all the same. It's that cursed shaman. Diomedes is tearing his hair out over it. It's old enough to not, to not have any moving mouths and eyes for the characters. The men of this village hold guard on shifts. Our weapons are rusty and few, but you fight well when you defend your home and family. Alright. <coughs> it reminds me of Spellforce in, in terms of models when it comes to them speaking. Their textures, but we do not have any moving mouths, etc. <coughs> so it's a bit like an older RPG in that sense. But with nicer graphics, they have better models. Still the same type of models without moving mouths and no moving eyes, no blinking eyes. The waters within these fountains are blessed by the gods. They say when you touch the water, your soul drinks from it. Should you suffer the dark fate in battle, your body will return to the fountain and you may live to fight again. All right. Drink from a different fountain and the soul shall bind to the new location. This is essentially a historical based Diablo 2, essentially. <coughs> Instead of uh, taking place in hell, you, you uh, fight instead in ancient trees and such. You still fight a lot of fantastical creatures, and you have uh, similar potions and gear. You have an inventory here, you can see the character. <coughs> Even though the screen is a bit small on a wide screen, 1920-1080p resolution. And the text is a bit small too. Hello stranger, I'm Diomedes, the leader of this small village. Do you mean to say that you fought your way here? If that's true then please, I beg of you. We need your help. 
Monsters led by a powerful satyr shaman appeared a few days ago and have driven us from our farms. We can hardly defend the village gates and have no one who can stop them from destroying our crops. Our farmland lies on the other side of the river, just over this bridge. The shaman was last seen beyond the farms at the edge of the Helos woods. Please, rid us of this terrible sorcerer. We will pay you what we can. All right. Please. Our farms and our families are not safe. They'll destroy our crops, our only source of food. All right. Greetings. Yeah, we can buy stuff. It's for a man, the motor merchant. We can get. Different skins there for male characters. There's another one for the female. Speak to this guy now. Oh, youth, inspire me to speak of the mightiest hero ever known, son of Zeus, a god, and of a mortal woman, the man named Heracles. Hated by the goddess Hera and beloved of Zeus, mighty handed Heracles. Battled monsters great and fearsome. The Nemean lion he slew, and the Hydra many headed, the Eremanthian boar, and thunderous giants. Twelve tasks of legend did he perform. Heracles rose above the realm of mortals. Once, it is told he took the place of Atlas, who holds the world aloft. Heracles. Yes. Heracles bore the world itself upon his shoulders. And now, now, where is a hero half as great as he? Yeah, good question. I don't even know if he will be a hero or not. He might become an undead necromancer or something. Anyway, let's speak again. What became of Heracles, you ask? The gods gave him immortality and gathered him up to Olympus. Right. What became of Heracles, you ask? Here we have a um, trader. If you're going out there, don't go and prepare. It's not and safe. Stuff. Buy what you need here. Uh, we could use potions. We shall see you again, I hope. Go uh, okay, here. You can stow your yes. goods with me. Here we have a lot of leveled up stuff. We need better, better levels for this stuff. We can use an editor to hand us gold and increase our level and stats and skills. We have such an editor. Unfortunately, the part of the editor that allowed us to give us any gear didn't work. But I took this stuff from the leveled up character that I got from the internet. We can't use it here. And this weapon is about the same as the one I have. Take it. I don't think it's any better. I can hardly see the text from here. I need to go Oops, uh, 4 to 8 damage is the same, we'll sell the other one. Right, and uh, the rest we cannot use, I believe. No. Alright. So long! And this is the person that allows us to change gear. What do you need? A skin, I mean. All of these are different skins. Goodbye. You don't need to use right now. Moodles in this game look good for a 2006 game. However, the, um, they are still old because they do not move their mouths and such when they speak. Okay, we will uh, move out and fight some monsters.
up some stuff. What's this essence of Alcimida's mirror? Alcimida's was one of the greatest of Greece's philosophers and scientists. Can and shan't fields only. We need to be level 2. We have a chest over there. We need to kill these guys first. Men too. Looks like this. They're fighting satyrs, I believe. Okay, uh, so a chest. Spot 7 gold. Bang energy. And pine withered staff. Okay, what about this stuff? And just the staff. So the character on the cover of the game. Had a staff and a sword. We'll try to emulate that and the appropriate skills. We need level 2 for this one. Gives armor. The bang of energy is yellow, so it's not the most common one. Speak to this guy. At harvest time, the whole village sets to work in the fields. The crops must be gathered and properly stored. We make an offering to Demeter, goddess of bounty. Right. It was three nights ago, Traveler, that the shepherd boy ran up crying about a satyr. We didn't believe him, but he was right, and now I never wish to see a satyr again! Alright. We'll probably see more satyrs. Oh, we can shoot with this staff. Awesome. That's good that he got the ranged attack. What did it say? Plus 10 er energy regeneration per second and uh, 3 to 10 uh, base call damage speed slow. So yeah, the staff allows to be ranged. Pick up all the gear and we're done here. Kill the rest of the satyrs in this area. Ranged attacks. I mean, warriors are fun, but you're less likely to die than they're using ranged attacks. Okay, we'll move over here and kill the wild boars. Ravenous boars. Ravens too, or crows. Carrier crows. Fuck, I didn't check my health. Health bar in time, and I clicked the wrong button for healing. So the button for healing is 9. I thought it was 1, that's why they failed with healing. In time in Diablo 2, it's always 1 or 2. Alright. They're all dying. Do not lose the boat here, it seems. Player's grave, yeah, we do, we do lose, uh, we need to take the grave uh, yeah, to get the experience, but we lose experience, and then we take the grave, we restore the lost experience, I believe. Okay, it looks beautiful. 2006 especially. I have a map too. You can see everything from the player, merchants, mystics, unplayable characters, party, if you play multiplayer. Yeah, this is fun to play in Coop as well. Played it in the past too. Not much. Played a little bit with my sister, but we, we played mostly Torchlight. Torchlight too. We played this a little bit. I think Torchlight has even more in common with Diablo too. Because it's made by some of the same creators. This one is made by different developers, but. 
course, copied a lot from Diablo too. Right, there's a boss up there, sad boss that we need to kill. guys as well. Damage. I believe the, the staff might be better. Better harness to get it. Um, we already had a breastplate, seven armor. Leather harness is uh, similar, same stat, just a different name. But we will kill some more of these guys. Ah, he was looking on our side. Alright, kill all of them. We are there. Without any... Uh, without... Uh, taunting the boss. This game also has the same uh, controls as Diablo 2. For example, you click on Alt to see the stuff on the ground, click on the number buttons to heal and do special attacks based on what you have placed here. In Diablo 2 you add potions and mana here, probably. Uh, well here you have it on 9 and 0. Maybe it was Torchlight actually. In Diablo 2 you had uh, a little bit different, but if first five buttons I believe were five buttons were for mana or potions in the other two and and then you had two buttons for the skills. Yeah it wasn't the other two it was like uh, it's more like World of Warcraft when it comes to the skills or torchlight. Yeah. But it's like W2 when and when you check the gear on the ground and such. That there's the boss. He's actually pretty powerful. Club. Regeneration Shrine, we take it. Shrines grant temporary. Uh, okay, bonuses. Okay, now it's time to fight. Ah, 
out. Both of them out. Okay, we'll try to kill, kill this guy. This is killing from a, from afar, I believe. See, it's dangerous. Uh, I think it's easier from afar than it is here in physical combat. You can't carry anymore. Okay, we'll throw out some trash. Don't need all of this. I need the yellow stuff, especially. So, band of brawn. We'll take it. Simple wraps of insight. We'll take it. And bangle. Endurance, we'll take it. A uh, chest with a uh, tough leather grease. Your inventory is full. Okay, we'll throw out some trash. some space now. I'll pick up some stuff that we can sell. Sand trash. Cooper bangle. You have no more room. Okay. Alright, we're done here. This is when you play it. It was in the original game, you can play something like this. It's more difficult to kill uh, enemies that are far away then. If you play like this, it's easier. It's nice that you can zoom in. You can't zoom in more than this though. in the original game. You can zoom out more than this. And you can't change the camera angle, I believe. But it's the same, no matter what. And you do not have a map, except this little small map at the corner here. Yeah. yeah, then you have the big map, but then you need to click on M. You defeated the powerful shaman? Astounding! Your victory today is great, but I fear there will be more monsters tomorrow. At least there is enough of the harvest left to feed us all. 
Take this gold. I know it's not much. Please seek out the Spartan general, Leonidas. Petition him on my behalf. Ask him to send a few of his warriors to protect us, and quickly, before we are again overwhelmed. Right. We'll check the other mode that adds a lot of skins. We'll check all the skins, but we'll do that when I start up the game again and zoom in. We won't do that now. Speak to this guy. I believe and they, they have this symbol over their head. They want to speak to you. You have saved our farms and our livelihoods. For this, we thank you. You have our thanks, stranger. Alright. So, what suits your fancy? So we need level 3 for this. Level 3, strength 50, 58. Level 8 for this one is actually good. Mine armor, 12 armor. Minus 8% reduction to all requirements. Okay, 8% poison resistance. Level 3. Sell the bow. Okay. Strength 58 is needed. Here we need. Uh, we are level 2, we can increase some stats, I believe. Okay. Until next time. <coughs> Go down here and speak to people. I want you to know you saved our lives. All the crops were not ruined. We will not starve through the winter. I think I will have nightmares of this day, but they will always end with the brave stranger who saved our lives. I will make an offering to the gods and ask them to smile on your fortunes. Our village is a friend to the Spartans. They are mighty, and rival faraway Athens, the other great power in Greece. In harvest season, the whole village works hard to gather all the crops. This year, we hope there will be enough. Thank you, traveler. Thank you. All right. Thank you again, stranger. We are indebted to you. But we won't be safe until the men of Sparta guard Helos. Please bring word to General Leonidas in Sparta. I am sure he will send help. Leonidas, the main character of the 300 movie. Go Sparta. now, and Zeus watch over you. All right. These shrines are ancient, as old as humankind, some say. They say Prometheus, who brought us fire, built these too. And in ancient times, men traveled by them. A very few still can. Those destined for greatness touched by the gods. Even fewer can travel to them with a simple stone as well. Or so the old tales. A very few still can, though. Right, I go 
Sparta. You have our thanks. May Hermes lead you safe to Sparta. Make haste, traveler. We are counting on you. Yes, the way to Sparta lies down this road, just beyond Laconia. Go safely. Zeus protects us all. Go safely. All right. Zeus protects us all. I'll be attacked. Good. We are helped by guards. If they ever get close to the guards, we'll speak to this guy. Huh? We were leading our flocks home when a pack of satyrs attacked. By the gods, they grabbed Telus and dragged him into a roadside cave. The roads aren't safe. Nowhere is safe anymore. How have we offended the gods that they send this scourge of monsters on us? First, the satyrs lurked in the woods. Then in the open fields. Now they roam like impudent brigands on our roads. You won't find me straying from the village again. They jumped out at us and grabbed him by Zeus. I am sure I lost him. It is too dangerous to leave the village. Soon I fear they will be dragging us from our very houses to their cook pot. It is too dangerous to leave the village. Soon I fear they will All be dragging right. us from our... Satyrs have kidnapped someone and uh, <coughs> they fear they will come for the rest of the citizens. They seem to be eating them. Cooking them. All right. Attack these carrion crows. Kill all the monsters. Even satyrs and crows and whatnot. You need experience. Oh, an item. You need that too. What's that? Oh. By the way, the menu. I will switch weapon there. Inventory. Skills. You can select skills here. So I have storm, electric magic, earth, fire magics, warfare, spirit, dream, rogue, hunting, nature, and defense. And uh, for Callisto. So the, the warrior excels at dealing uh, dealing out physical damage, but uh, <coughs> let's see, I can hardly read. Uh, the warrior excels at dealing out physical damage, but uh, uh, what is that? He has little heed to defense. With higher master levels, the warrior can learn to deal damage to several adversaries at once. Alright, defense. The defender specializes in surviving battles, but offers little in the way of offensive enhancements. So I think a warrior like Kalist of Sina, the warrior princess, I think she will be warfare and earth. She had fire magics. I would go for probably art magic. Right. No more skills right now. I wasted our mana potions if I had any. Maybe I didn't have one to. They are 
easily kill. Kill that one too. Now they must have dropped a lot of stuff. They don't want to pick up worthless stuff that we can only use for selling. Save our inventory for better stuff. Satters here for a potion. It's an energy potion. Let's keep this guy's up too. Heat ourselves. Use your weapons and the weapons of nearby allies with the power of rock and flame. Okay. Well, that's better than nothing. That's our first flame ability. So this is how the game is originally meant to be played. It's easier to play like this too. And recommended. Here, talk to some enemies. Inventory, we are level 2 still, but we level up soon. You can see the meter is almost filled there. Stuff. So this is how we look currently, and uh, now we get to pick up these tough, simple wraps of energy. Didn't change our looks very much, but still, plus five armor, plus twenty-seven in energy, and uh, plus twenty-six percent energy restoration. Nice. And this one, same armor. Tough simple wraps of energy or simple wraps of insight. That's why in intelligence, armor, energy, energy regeneration, 18% energy regeneration, 5 intelligence, 26% energy regeneration, 27 energy, and uh, 5 armor. I prefer the one we have equipped currently. Then we have Bangle of Endurance plus 56 health. Plus 22 energy regeneration, we go for it, the armband. And here we have a different one, bangle of energy. Plus 23 energy. And 2% uh, energy re regeneration. 29%. They prefer the 56 health, I believe. Essence of our uh, oh, Shimides uh, was one of the okay. Really tried. Now we can enchant trees with that. Eight percent poison resistance, twelve armor. We have a uh, helmet now. We have a ring, plus 4 strength, quiet level 3. Twelve armor plus 4 armor. Kind of prefer the other one though.
<coughs> so we still lack an action armor to character. It still has the basic like uh, leather breastplate here. Looks hardly any different from the gear we started out with. It's not good enough to change the looks. Not all the gear we get will change the look of the character. Only the, the, the stuff that is actually good or better than what we started out with. A lot better, not just a few stats better. Okay, so we have a cool helmet. Uh, Fire damage. Right. Look at all the places for more enemies. There is night and day in this game. So it has uh, that system at least. So it's pretty cool. It's annoying to play the unit at night, I think. I would have preferred if it was always day, probably. They made it realistic in this sense. That's... Uh, I... I, <coughs> I prefer daytime in all games in Skyrim, too. Playing games more when that's it. I don't really want to play during the night. It's just annoying to not see anything. I prefer having clear eyesight than anything. Yeah, it's more uh, realistic that it w would turn into night and such. Let's open the chest. Get some stuff. Should include spear, lesser health potions or healer potions or whatever. Kill this guy. Health potion, okay. Your inventory is full. Your inventory is full. Is that Andrew Buckner? Okay. okay. We do want a Buckler. Can use it with our other gear. We have two. Like separate options. So we have a 200 weapon and we have a sword and a shield, but we have a knife currently. So all our stuff are good here. Back to the town and leave some stuff in the inventory. Sell some stuff. I like that you learn some of uh, Greek mythology and such history when you play this game. some ancient mythology and uh, some history, which is nice. Unlike Diablo and other similar games that don't have anything to do with real mythology or history. Don't forget armor for okay. your arms and legs. They're important too. Otherwise it's a very similar game. 
so we'll sell I think uh, this right we shall see you again I hope Traveler, play some stuff your here. Things with me. A lot of bows. I keep you. <clears throat> we'll kill a few more monsters here. Clear the area. Save the boy. Play that before, so do it. And that will be this episode. It will be a shorter one. We we'll also kill every monster up to the next area, maybe. Finish this act. And then uh, I think we will replay this with a different character and uh, use the comic mode just to see the difference. We already killed the monsters here. The bodies are still here. If you restart the game, they will respawn. But as long as you haven't restarted it, they will be, be dead. They will continue to lay dead forever, which is nice. Only when you restart the game will they magically respawn so the bodies do not disappear unless you restart the game <coughs> the, ra <coughs> the, ra uh, the um, wild boars they are not as aggressive as other enemies they would attack if you go to close. You gain experience by killing them, so that's why we do it anyway. We've been here already. Stone boosts the physical damage of attacks. Okay, hot heat shield because the protective heat shield. Ring of flame and circles you in a searing seer of searing of flames, burning all enemies. Mechanic orb. Okay. <coughs> flame surge. Uh, through yet flame erupt from the caster's hands, each inflicting incinerating fire damage to enemies. Okay. Panic orb. We have no more skills. Okay. okay. Try the new ability. Just taught ourselves. Ah, so that's the fire attack. One.
retreat all the way down. I played this part before in the game. I haven't finished this game ever, but I played the, this part multiple times. Not too long ago I played it like three or four times, and I tried out the mods. Both the Diablo 2 mod and this I didn't record. some bosses over there you need to be more careful about this is the hero don't want any of that stuff it's not very good here's the boy they have captive we need to defeat these these guys This game is that they won't attack unless you are too close or unless you click on them. So they are not as aggressive as in Diablo 2. So it's easier, I would believe. Um, maybe later in the game it's still difficult. Because they follow you. Like, for, for, they can follow you from one area to another. Essentially, they don't stop following. Okay, we got some gold and uh, some other stuff here in the chest. Speak to this guy. A human face. Good fortune finds me even in the darkest places of Greece. I believed I was counting my final hours. These creatures live like savages, fighting and snarling amongst themselves. I am Telus. Nicostratus made it back to the village? So he's all right then. <sighs> we tended our flocks together. We are close, like brothers. If you see Nicostratus before I do, tell him I'll be along. I think I need to gather my nerves first. If you see Nicostratus right. before I do, tell him I'll be along. Yeah, the game looks great for a 2006 game, I believe, of this type. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, it's not the most modern game anymore. We have some satyrs there that we need to kill. The fuck. Game lagged. Something happened with the mouse. That's going what happened. Okay. I've already killed these guys. Some of the satyrs seem to be walking. <coughs> Vast distances. Alright, we're done with the quest. We need to go back to the town. Speak to people. We could also take this shortcut. Portal stone creates a portal to travel to towns and other party members. Okay, we don't need to do that. If we play like this, looks like this. The original zoom. This is the max zoom. Feel pretty good. For 2006 game. Let's speak to this. Okay, now. Tell us, still alive? I can hardly believe my ears. I had given up. Thank you, warrior. Thank you. You saved the life of my friend. Zeus bring you good fortune. You saved the life of my friend. Zeus. These shrines are ancient, as old as humankind, some say. They say Prometheus, who brought us fire, built these too. And in ancient times, men traveled by them. A very few still can. Those destined for greatness touched by the gods. Even fewer can travel to them with a simple stone as well. Or so the old tales claim. 
A very few still right. can. What the fuck? Our village is a friend to the Spartans. They are mighty and rival faraway Athens, the other great power in Greece. Yeah, yeah. Hear it already. The waters within these fountains are blessed. Seems they say the same thing again. After a while. You have our thanks, stranger. Right, let's see. Sell some Don't stuff. forget armor for your arms and legs. They're important too. Maybe we'll not sell that stuff. Right now. Bye, my friend. Travel to the other place then. coming if you are zoomed out, it will be zoomed out most of the time. Try to kill any monsters, we had killed these already. So yeah, there are some satyrs that are like traveling around. Here is a s rebirth fountain, you can spawn there and we restart the game. A new area, Laconia Woods. Or please, it's enemies. Like a mix between birds and, and uh, women. They are evil. First, and see if we missed anything. No, we didn't. Thank you. I was in a bit of a scrape there, I'll admit. Thank the god Hermes you came along. I don't know when the rumors started. First a man was attacked. Then strange beasts were seen by moonlight. Whispers of the centaurs, harpies, and then suddenly they were upon us. It's madness. 
a curse from some god we have offended. These beasts are brazen. They roam at will. You know, the satyrs have always been there, deep in the woods. But they were shy of humans, and never so savage as this. This was my home. The beast attacked and set fire to everything I owned. A few minutes more, and they would have had my life as well. Thank you for your help. May the goddess Athena keep you safe. Thank you for your help. Right. May the goddess Athena... Let's uh, look at quests. We have main quests. Spartans at war. You defeated the powerful... You can hear the dialogue again. You defeated again. the power... We have side quests. Right. Cornered man. Problem is the text is so small that I am so far away from the computer and have this. Right screen. The game originally was made for uh, four tree resolutions. So it'd be easy to read on four trees. The computer screen. Not Windows XP, I believe. Move over here and kill some birds. At least the birds are easy to kill. But there are many and very aggressive and fast. Yeah, they are easy to kill. Run, hit. Level that, nice. skills here. Okay. Heat field. Three. Okay, it's probably temporary though. Heart enhancement. Enchantment. Flame surge. Mechanic orb. I knew nothing of the story in this game. I said I played this part many times, but I didn't bother to listen to these people speaking. I found the story actually a bit interesting because it's based on, uh, on mythology and history. It's nice. Or at least some of it. You learn about Heracles and Athena and such. know about it already. I kind of do, but still it's nice to be reminded.
Traveler, please, you must assist me. A strange illness afflicts many in my town of Tegea, and I was sent to retrieve medicines. I have them in my cart, but now the pass ahead is held by satyrs led by one of their fierce champions. Without this medicine, many in Tegea will perish. If I don't find a way to get back soon, there may be none left to welcome me home. News of satyrs and even stranger beasts is spreading across the land. It seems every town or village has a story, and I've heard the Spartan forces are on the march. If you could clear the pass ahead, I would be forever grateful. If not, I will have to try and force my way. Though I fear that will be a most unpleasant ending. If you could clear the pass ahead, I would right. be forever grateful. Move here first. Skeletons here. They don't need uh, to difficult to kill. Let's see. More of the crows. So, zooming in is better for the warrior, probably. Right? If we have uh, range attack, it's better to be zoomed out so you can attack them when they are far away. If you are a uh, uh, like close combat warrior type, so me it would be nice. Some undead and crows. These are plague birds. They are not the same as the others. We need to heal. They are stronger. Then there are the awakened dead. Dead. There's a boss there. Skeleton mage. These are soldiers. Kill the skeleton mage. He wasn't that difficult to defeat. Simple mantle of needle, uh, needle, so necklace. Or Let me see. Simple, single. Simple mantle of needles. Yeah, an armor we needed. But we need to be level 8. It sucks. I know what we should do. We will replace the knife with this iron hand axe. It's better. So, a better the weapon. So, we're not gonna use it. Continue to use the staff. Chest over here. Oh, we'll be taking 80 coal. Don't need other stuff. The only use of it would be to sell it later. up this passage. Okay, I've never killed those skeletons before, but I have moved up this passage before. And killed a bunch of satyrs and other stuff. Or in our way, there will be a stronger one here. Satyr brute. Okay, five. Died. Good reinforced buckler of energy. Nice. I could certainly use that one instead. But you need uh, strength 90. You can't use it right now. Alright. Kill these guys. Now, satyrs. Like the tree protected him. If there is anything in the way of the projectiles, we won't hit them. Alright.
<coughs> go down and kill these guys too. Potion, we want that. There's a guy over here. Won't go there yet. Want to kill all the monsters over here first. Other satyrs and birds and whatnot. Harpies. Carrion crows. In case the old crows. Kill them too. mode of the original I mean third person mode of the original not mode but mode it's only like this a bit too high up for my taste <coughs> but a Diablo 2 ga a style game is meant to be played like this so it's fine Take that chest here. Yeah. Make gold, three gold, fifty-eight gold. Tough man, we'll take it. And a health potion. I'll keep the rest of the satyrs. Some of them have good, uh, like, uh, range from which they start to attack, and others uh, literally will not attack unless you attack them or move very, very close to them. That's another sail. Well, let's kill these guys now. They may be needed against the boss later. It's dangerous here, but I can't go home. My daughter was supposed to be married. 
Alas, her dowry, a fine gold necklace, is in the claws of crazed demons who smashed my cart and ran off. Right, another quest. It was dark. The monster seized my mount with the bags on its back and, and dragged it off the road. They couldn't have gone far. I would go after the beast myself, but what could I do? I'm no warlike Spartan. I'm no rich man. That necklace was all I had to give. How can I go home? What would I tell my daughter? Alright, let's kill these crows first. Carrion crows. Right, done. Kill the harpies. Push harpy. And these carrion crows. There's the veil, I'll take it. There's the water. Can't move any further there. Tell water animations too. The Spartan army. Yes, you'll find them just up the road. They've built a war camp there. Do you think General Leonidas will speak to you then? If the camp hasn't moved on, You'll have no trouble finding it. I have reached that camp, I believe. You'll find General Leonidas there. I said if you go down this road, you can't miss them. Just down the road here. Go on. Just down the road here. All right. Go on. And we are level 4. Kill any monsters first in this part. The harpies and the carrion crows. Oh, we leveled up. Then we need to go back so we can increase our stats a bit. How much do we need? Level 8. It's trying to 90. Okay. Couldn't give ourselves more strength this time. Mm -hmm. uh, pick that one. Bowers are really fast as you attack them. Ravenous bowers. They are the same bowers, but they look bigger. Oh, 
Oh, uh, these guys. See ourselves too. Here are some bigger ones. They're attacking the base, I think. smaller ones. They are starting to get some heals there and experience. Guards to take out the big ones. Alright, and we do not need to go here yet. I want the gear. This is good. Got another shield. Oh, we can use that shield now. This shield is trash. We'll replace it with this yellow one, Crude Buckler of Ability. Replace it with the Pine Crude Buckler. It's way better. Yep. Okay. We have another one here. Need more strength for it. We have another item to Okay, let's try some move back. Kill those undead as we saw. Bacon dead. They spawned on the ground. I see, it's because I changed to feel. Of course, we need to use the staff. Now it was easy, one hit and they are down. They're too good for them. Too high level now. Nothing good there. Okay. More undead over there. All right. shooting at us. Need to retreat a little bit. We were losing a lot of health. Your inventory is full. I don't like having full inventory. Throw out the trash. Another armor, nice. Simple mantle of endurance. Another one was simple mantle of needles. And it does plus 25 health, plus 10 energy regeneration. The other one has better stuff. But we'll replace it. No change in looks. What the fuck? That was disappointing. I wanted something cooler than my starting look. Ok, 
kill any remaining undead here. Chest. Oh, you dropped a lot of good stuff here. You have no more room. Stuff to no more room. Kill these guys. We can take this stuff. Armor 14 armor. Replace the helmet. I got a different gear. I prefer. It's a pupil's garland. Have a new staff to pick up. You have no more room. You can't carry anymore. You can't carry anymore. You can't carry anymore. <laughs> Your inventory is full. What the fuck? Your inventory is full. That sucked. People's card stuff. I want to do that stuff. Your inventory is full. They can't even pick it up. Like that. And the wrong item. People is caught stuff, thank you. Your inventory is full. Energy plus 1.0 energy restoration per second. Okay, we, we need uh, intelligence 110. Alright, see you soon. Be right back. Alright, I'm back. So the problem is that I don't have enough space for all my stuff. So I don't know what to do. We'll throw out the trash. Alright, we still can't get this uh, bow. I you have no more room. Uh,
need it. Okay, move the undead. <coughs> so you'll kill the undead. That might work. Kill them again. They are already dead. Your inventory is full. Wonder what that is. All right. Poison damage over 60 seconds plus 10 is 13. 8 one damage, that's pretty good. Pick that up and uh, could use real. This is a good weapon. I prefer range. I believe uh, in the picture, on the cover of the game, she had a staff in one hand and a sword in another. But in the game, you can only have, I believe, a staff with two handed weapons. You cannot have a sword and staff at once. Could be wrong, of course. Take the garland. Keep this garland. 15 armor, 14 armor. Cold resistance plus 20% energy regeneration. So it's same in energy regeneration. Plus 37 energy or 6% cold resistance. Alright, let's stick with the one I have already. Over here for now. Undead. Like all the bodies remain until you start the game at least. I'll go to the city. 
unsightly. These are Spartans. Oh, let's speak to this guy. General Leonidas, he's just ahead, but he doesn't speak with commoners who arrive uninvited. I told you, just keep going, you'll find him. I told you, he's in the camp. There, no civilian gets in to see General Leonidas, especially when he's in a council of war. Well, look, a particularly savage centaur named Nessus has killed several of our farmers. He runs wild in the Pelena Valley. We don't have the men to send after it right now. Kill the beast, and I'll see you get to speak to Leonidas. All right, new quest. Sucks that the text is so small. <laughs> read it. Okay, so I had reached this settlement before and spoken to everyone here and killed some cantors, but he had never killed those undead before. Normally you'd be out of luck, but that monster killed two of my friends. The Pelena Valley lies at the foot of our camp. If, when you've killed that oversized man horse, come back to me. Return right. to me only when you've killed it. Return to me only when you've killed it. I tell you, stranger, we've seen invasions. Macedonians, the Persians. A human enemy may lower his weapons and yield, but these monsters only yield to death. We know not where they are from, or what fuels their wrath. In places where the corrupt beasts don't hunt us, the dead crawl from the cold ground and take arms against us. I woke with dawn. I'll see satyrs fall at my spear's tip before I sleep. I've been in wars. There, it's true they may be coming from some foreign land, but I say they were here all along, unseen. If this plague of beasts persists, soon the only Greeks will be warriors. If this plague of beasts persists, right. soon the only... I'll tell you the truth. I just joined Leonidas' men today. My father gave me permission, and his old spear and shield, and I took off like Hermes himself. The old soldiers, they scoff. They say you prove yourself fighting men. But didn't Heracles fight fabulous beasts? And Theseus too? I can't wait to start the fighting. Just let me get my spear tip near one of those cursed satyrs. I'll tell you, this is the time for heroes. I know it's awful. Those beasts should not attack old men and children. They're cowards. They should... I can't wait! Okay, nice to fuck up. I can't clip. wait! So, sometimes I miss the text because I click intending to do so. Here we have the canor and so on. To have your own artifact built to order. Right. Thank you. <coughs> Bird fountain. Nice. And we can go back to Hellos here, the first town. Or we can go to Sparta. So we can be in both towns now. This character. If I look worried, it's because Epius, an ancient of war and father figure to me, wandered off into the valley this morning and has not come back. He is getting old and thinks he still has his former strength and speed. Another side quest gained. To be honest, it is not safe for any man alone out there. Centaurs and other beasts wander the valley. To be honest, it is not safe for any man alone out there. Right. Centaurs and other beasts. Here we have a camp. Zoom in. Go in the camp. Now that's outside. The camp will speak with this guy. Basilus, Spartan, soldier. Okay. First, we thought our enemy stemmed from Corinth. 
We marched to meet them, but everywhere they attacked. From our flanks, from behind, at night, even in broad day. General Leonidas is as great a man as I have ever followed. I would place my life in his hands. Still, I don't see how to fight these beasts. Now we're trying to push the beasts beyond our borders. We patrol the roads and clear out farmers' fields. They just keep coming. The monsters show no fear and attack on sight. We are better warriors, but many of us are unnerved by it. They are truly beasts. I do not know what General Leonidas has planned, but I will follow, and I will fight. Be wary, traveler. These beasts do not fight like men. Be wary, traveler. All right. These... Yeah, they can so they're pretty strong. I fought some of them earlier. It's a different character. But they were really dangerous, but I believe this one would be better off hand handling them. <coughs> but it would still be difficult, I think. Ah, we have some points here, I think. Let's... No, we don't. Okay. We are almost about to level up, so... Play some enemies first before they let us in here. The Nidus is probably inside here. I'm disappointed that we still do not have a different armor. We have a different armor here, but we do not have any different loot. They look like uh, an ordinary character. Alright, but we'll end it here. Thank you for watching, and I'll do another video where we play with the uh, cam mode on the start. Okay, thank you for watching, or we may start the game, we will load this character, but we will uh, use the cam mode. You'll see. So, let's see. Is it the main menu? Custom quest. Alright, here's our character level five. fire spells first but we could also focus on warrior stuff later. Alright, thanks for watching, bye.